Hey friends, because my mom and sister had so much fun staying in Animal Kingdom Lodge, I decided to try to get another resort stay. There wasn't much I can actually pick from because it was within the week, but I did succeed and I got us another night at a different resort and I think they're going to like it a lot. Let's go do this. And this time we are staying at Disney's Beach Club. Wow, this place is gorgeous. Look how festive the decorations are on the walkway over the bridge to actually get to the beach club. I like that. It's very, very pretty. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Watch the fountain spray its water. Fa la 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 la. And look at the little beach ornaments they have. But there it is, the beach club. Wow, isn't it pretty? I couldn't actually park up front here, so I dropped my mom off, so she's inside. I missed her reaction to the lobby, but I'm sure she still likes it a lot. Ooh, I can smell it already. I love the smell of this lobby or of this resort. It's so wonderful, beachy smelling. The first thing we see when we walk in is the gingerbread carousel. That is insane, isn't it? This is made of all gingerbread. And it's Peter Pan themed. Look at, there's Wendy's horse. And then there's Tink's horse. Wow, how cool is that? And look at the detail, even up top, everything. It's all made of gingerbread. The podium, the ship, amazing. What are you trying to get a picture of? The gingerbread carousel? It says all the ingredients, 100 pounds of honey, 200 pounds of flour, 100 pounds of eggs, 10 quarts of egg whites. Wow, so much. Look at the pretty trees and decorations they have in here too. Don't you guys like it in here? Love it. Yeah, do you smell, right? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, don't you smell it? it smells beachy. All of it is just so well themed and lit. It's very nice, very quaint. Normally, it's actually very busy in here because a lot of people come to see like the gingerbread carousel or the gingerbread train station, well, the miniature city over at Yacht Club. But so far, it's not too bad. I mean, just not like a full, full lobby. Just a couple people here checking it out. That might change later though. Look at this hallway too. Wow, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Ooh, let's go this way. Yeah, we're going this way. Premium coffee bar, huh? Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of Beach Club is this little area in here. It's so nice and it's quiet. You can come here actually, just hang out, read a book, drink a Bud Light, who knows? Watch the Niners game. This is Destiny. And look, they won 48 to 46. You guys don't know this, but I'm a 49ers fan. Santa? Yeah. Santa? I didn't see Santa. Santa's in all of the... Oh. Look at how beautiful this is, isn't it? And we're staying in the villas, but I didn't see this tree. Look at that. It's the first time I've seen that. Wow, very pretty. And look how it fits exactly underneath. What would you call that, a chandelier? It fits like perfectly in there. We can play some pool later on. Oh yeah, look at that nice pool table. Or we can just hang out in the breezeway, which is just as beautiful. Wow, look at that picture of the boardwalk up there. That's stunning. We're going up, we're on the third floor. I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. Look, you're getting pretty good at this. Look how pretty the floors are and the doors. So nice. I'll tell you what, this is a much shorter walk than the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Like literally, we're right off the lobby, which I like a lot. Oh, we're here. 361. Oh. oh, it smells so nice in here. Oh, look at this. It's very nice. Oh, 
pretty. I like it a lot. Oh, the toilet's up next oh, to the shower. Goodness. You don't got a separate door for the toilet. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put Stacy on as we explore the room a little bit. This villa actually has multiple places you can sleep. Obviously, we have the bed, then we have the couch, which is also a pull-up couch, and then, of course, this little baby right here. I'm gonna take these chairs away. Oh, yes. And then we're gonna press that button, I think, somehow. How's this work? I don't know. We figured it out. Go ahead, Bonnie. Bada boom. Look at that. Donald hanging out on the beach. I like it a lot. <laughs> the view though is just literally Epcot construction. You can actually hear Epcot from here. Huh. I think British Revolution is playing over in the United Kingdom Pavilion. That's what I'm hearing. That's pretty awesome, I guess. Look at the little starfish handles. Huh, I like that. The bathroom vanity area is so nice too. Look at all this. Nice countertop. Good water flow. The pressure seems nice. Very nice. Okay, so since we're staying at a beach club, what cool things are there to do at beach club? Well, to answer that, there's the whole boardwalk resort and the pool and the water slide. So we're gonna go explore some of those great amenities and just overall enjoy the experience of the resort. Yeah, I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. Come on. There we go, you're gonna hit me. When you stay at Beach Club and you stay in the villa section, you actually have your own little pool area back here, which is really nice. And then of course you got the main pool out front, but look at the decorations. You even got some facilities here. They have so many different rooms you can just relax at, from the sun room to the breezeway to the drawing room with the pool table. Just plenty of places to lounge at this resort. That's what I like about it. All these outdoor seating areas, like I said, lots of places to get some good rest. The marketplace for all your favorite little snacks and goodies and souvenirs. Definitely gonna be stopping here for breakfast tomorrow. House made pastries, coffee cake, croissant, multi-grain croissant. Wow, Mickey brownies, sugar cookie. Oh, I like it all. Ooh, and they even have a warming oven over here. Oh wow, those all look fantastic, don't they? Oh yeah, much too good. You can also get some made items like sandwiches, rib dinners, chicken dinners. Look at that, holy moly. And they got all the creations for your own flatbread. Ribs, cornbread, corn, mashed potatoes, chicken, all delicious. Now it's time we go to the boardwalk area. Come on, let's go. Okay. Lead the charge. Okay. We didn't make it far and we realized that they're doing s'mores and a campfire, so we gotta stop and get our marshmallows. Ooh. I'm gonna bring in the campfire. I love hearing the fire crackle. Nice. <laughs> it's just so beautiful out here, and right now it's the perfect time. The sun is starting to go down. It's just amazing, isn't it? I like to stick it in, catch it on fire, blow it out, and eat it. That's the plan. You're fine. And there we go. Just how I like it. Burnt. That's how I like it. Yes. I told you, you're going to do this for 25 minutes. I already know what's happening. It would be awesome if we can get out here for sunrise, sit on one of those swings and just watch the sunrise over the boardwalk. How pretty would that be? And I cannot wait to ride this water slide. Look at it, it starts at the top of that ship right there and then you go all the way across the walkway and into the pool, which I'm about to show you the pool because that's pretty fancy itself. 
the pool has a sand bottom. How cool is that? I love it. <laughs> they even have a lazy river here. How awesome is that? Wow, I like that. Seriously, have you ever seen a pool with a sand bottom? I mean, if, I might be like foreign to this, but like I've always known it's here, but it still mesmerizes me every time because I've never heard of it before I've seen it here. They also have a nice little bar near the pool, but also a quick service location. A lot more quick service locations here than they had at Kadani Village. I would say that you gotta check out Beaches and Cream while you're here, but Beaches and Cream is under refurbishment. They do have a temporary location, but it's not all that. But they have other offerings that you may enjoy. You can always hang out at Martha's Graveyard or Vineyard. You can dine at Cape May Cafe. If you like seafood, that's a good spot. But if not, I would find somewhere else. Look at the sand castle. Where? Right there. It's starting to get a little bit dark out, and I noticed that the main pool out front closes at 8 o'clock, which is kind of strange considering the pool back by the villas closes at 11, but I really want to ride that water slide. So I'm going to go change, get in my swimsuit, grab the GoPro, and hopefully record going down that slide. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and I'll let you know after this. So I don't know whether or not that footage of going down the water slide worked, but I gotta say that water slide is probably the best water slide on Disney property for resorts. I loved it. You start off slow and then fast, and then there's literally waterfalls on the slide itself hitting you. Pretty awesome, I really liked it a lot. Another thing I really like about the pool here is that they actually have three hot tubs. Like I said before, one of them is just for adults 18 years and older, and then the other two are just, you know, for families and everything like that. But because they have three, that gives them the option to actually have an adult-only one. Pretty awesome. Another thing I like about this pool is how they have a gigantic sand walkway right here that you can actually go from, like, sand straight to, like, the pool. You get your feet in there. Look at this. This How cool is this? Oh, boy. It's a little hard to walk on. It's like you're right in a beach. And they got like sand shovels and pails and then right into the water. Oh, there's the ducks. Look at that. <laughs> the ducks are building a sand castle. Let's try to zoom in on them. Yep, the ducks are building a sand castle. So kind of funny, the pool actually connects to all the different spots. Like it goes all the way through the Lazy River over to the Jacuzzi area. It's massive in here. And my mom actually swam or floated all the way to the other side. And now she's cold. So I'm gonna walk over on the other side and I get to drive her Jazzy over to pick her up. I'm excited. I actually haven't gotten to drive the Jazzy much, but oh yeah, I'm driving today. Like I said, all the pools are connected. Like it goes right here, underneath this bridge, over to this pool, around that bend, under that bridge, and then again, another bridge. The Lazy River is right in the center. Pretty awesome. Oh yes. <laughs> oh boy. I like this. This is fun. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. Ooh, there's the jacuzzis. I'm coming, Ma. <laughs> Ooh, this baby goes. Oh, it's not even turned up all the way. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Zoop. Where is she now? Think we gotta go this way maybe? Oh yeah. Whoa, that's narrow. <laughs> Extreme off-roading. Oh. <laughs> there we go. 
I'm coming. There she is. So I got out of the pool and I decided to go change. I couldn't find my mom. I look in the arcade and she's literally in the arcade. What are you doing? Yeah, I love Guitar Hero. So we might as well check out Yacht Club while we're here and just do a grand tour. Mom's going back to Beach Club though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mainly so we can come over to Yacht Club, we can check out the little Christmas town, little village here with the choo-choo train. How cool is that? Mickey's Village. The front side of Mickey's Village is just a basic town, but on the other side is where they actually have all the Disney properties. And look, you can see they have a yachtsman at the top of the hill, Captain's Grill, very cool. And the other side is Beaches and Cream and a bunch of other stuff. They do have a tree here that's just the right height. Look at it, it's just barely touching the ceiling. But it is a tree and it's got a whole bunch of different yachts, ships, boats, baits, and tackles. How about we spin this globe and wherever it lands on my finger, I'm gonna visit next. Oop, I am going to Mutt Asia. <laughs> Somewhere in uh, Tartan or Persia. That's where I'm going. <laughs> I don't think I ever sat on this couch, but I'm always judging hotel resorts by their lobby furniture. And this looks like it might be a winner. Very deceiving. It's a very stiff couch. Very stiff. No comfy, no spring, no bounce, no sinking in. Kind of like you're sitting on a metal chair. It feels nice though. Let's go, Captain. Don't go down them steps. You gotta go down over this side. The outside of the Yacht Club is really nicely decorated, but we're gonna head to the lighthouse because we're gonna catch a boat onto the other side for boardwalk because we're getting some ice cream. Yeah! When do we get ice cream? Uh, well, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> you can go to the Swan and Dolphin in Hollywood Studios, or you can go to Boardwalk in Epcot. We're going over to Boardwalk. Here it comes! <laughs> Oh, I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. <laughs> oh, is your hair waving in the air? <laughs> There's the boardwalk. We're gonna stay on the boat and go for a little ride though. But then we're coming back and we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and get some ice cream. Since we came over here to Epcot and you can actually see the United Kingdom Pavilion right there, I think it's time mom rides the Skyliner. Oh. You excited to ride the Skyliner? Yep. Mom, are you excited or are you scared? Nervous. Nervous? Oh, you're going to be fine. Oh, we got the yellow one. Is there no tint on the windows? Oh no, perfect. Oh, I didn't know they locked them in place like that. That's awesome. Hello, humans. Hello. <laughs> you ready, Mom? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> Mom's like, now you got a video on me. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fine. For. To keep you cool. I'm here. Oh, to keep it cool. Because there's no way you see in here, so yeah. But once you're up here, it actually gets very oh. okay. It's happening. Like 
exactly where we're going instead yep. of mm -hmm. going back where we're going. Oh, is that going to make us some um, oh, no. like tilty? Oh, Holy moly! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at the World Showcase. You can see Spaceship Earth like back there. Oop, we're driving past the boardwalk now. Okay. Look at all those cars down there. Look at all okay, those now this is the only turn on property. So this one is a little rocky because we're going to actually go to the left. So just to prepare you. These were designed to complement their unique environments. From the glamour of Disney's Hollywood Studios to the laid back islands of Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Oh boy, we're coming in. Coming in. This is gonna get rocky. Mom, it's okay. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> See, isn't this crazy? People, people do this all the time. Oh, we hope you are enjoying your journey on the most magical flight on earth. We are now traveling along Buena Vista Drive. Oh, we're going over some Disney buses. That's the Disney Plus bus. Well, how do you know it's the Disney Plus? I've seen the side of it. Oh. Oh! Don't look, Mom. Don't look. Don't look. We're stopping. Don't worry. We're stopped. My mom loved it. Didn't you love it? I did. A little scary, though. Yeah. A little scary. But yeah. now we are at the main loading station, one that goes over to Anim Art of Animation Pop and then Hollywood Studios. And we're heading back to Epcot. Should be fun. Ooh, and I noticed that the next one is actually one of them without tint. So usually if you're up and you're going through like the regular way, but because we have uh, uh, electric wheelchair, we're using this loading station. So you can't really request one, but if you do want to request one and you're going the standby way, then they usually accommodate and tell you to step to the side. And it's always good to get a clear one because then you get a better look outside. What's first being developed? They are both named See that big pier right there? That's American California, Adventure, uh, the, uh, uh, the American Pavilion, facing straight today. towards Epcot, right down the center. Gotcha, right there? Yep, isn't that awesome? That's awesome. Are they going to have Ratatouille too? No, that's the Ratatouille that's ride coming, Ma. Oh! Yeah, it's going to be really fun. What are they going to have mouse running all over the place? No, you're going to shrink down to the size of a mouse and yeah. avoid getting stepped on. Really? Yes. We made it back. Now, do you really think this is a safe form of transportation? Scary, but safe. Scary, but safe. You heard it there, folks. Now we are walking over to Ample Hills to get our ice cream. Luckily, we got off when we did because Ample Hills closes at 9.30. It is 9 o'clock now, so we didn't have time to wait for a boat. But we'll get our ice cream and explore the boardwalk a little bit. And here we are, Ample Hills. I can't wait to get some munchie ice cream and Rice Krispie treat. Google lied. Google lied. Oh, Google. Look at that. They're open till 11, Bon Bon. Oh, I should have never trusted you. It's hard to decide, right? So many different flavors. Obviously, I always love Snap and uh, munchies, but I don't know. What are you guys thinking? I think I'm going to get Snap and I'll pop. Oh, yeah? All right. What are you going to get? Snap mellow pop. What are you gonna get today? I'm gonna get a taco. You're gonna get a taco with Rice Krispie? Yeah. That's a little much. All right, all right, Maybe. all right. Do it, do it. I got a cup, and a cup is six ninety nine. You get two scoops, so I got one scoop of munchies, one scoop of snap. I like it a lot. Mom got herself a waffle cone with uh, ooey gooey butter cake and butter pecan. Ice cream was great and we're all finished now, but we're going to get some novelty photos because this is actually free with your annual pass, if you don't know that. So uh, I sent Bonnie and Mom in there and then I'm going to actually watch them out here. <laughs> get your heads together! Are you ready? 
Perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. <coughs> now do a silly face. Three, two, one. <laughs> Last pose. Aww. The boardwalk is just so beautiful at night. It's just such a great experience to walk around and kind of just hang out. Just one thing I have to say about the boardwalk. They have the room to put such a massive tree here. Why go so little? I mean, I understand maybe they want like that little Charlie Brown look, but I mean, compared to a lot of the other resorts, wow. It's still a beautiful tree though. I'll give it that. One of my favorite little bars to hang out is definitely the Bellevue Lounge. Look at it in here. So homey, it's like you're sitting in a living room. Look at, they're playing old classic Christmas music out of the radios. Usually, they have news broadcasts happening. That's awesome. And just look at the decorations. We're going right, Ma. You got this. You can't do it. Look at all this. And now on to the lobby of the boardwalk. And we're going to see the gingerbread boardwalk. That's one of my favorites as well. Okay, the lobby here at the boardwalk makes up for the small tree outside. Because this is absolutely, like, elegant. That's all I can say. The chandeliers, the classic little Christmas trees with the amazing ornaments. I love it. And of course, like I said, the boardwalk gingerbread. Look at this. Unbelievable. The flying fish. Trotta Alfora. The boardwalk bakery. And look on the inside. I wonder what they're making in there, Mickey and Minnie. Ah, they're making some gingerbread men, some carrot cakes. Looks really good. I see me Claire's in the back. Great job, guys. Great job. Oh, and they even have an ESPN club. I like it. Remember what I was telling you about fancy furniture? Look at these chairs. Unbelievable. But these aren't the chairs that I want to show you because the chairs that really stand out are definitely those chairs. Look at that. <laughs> Have a little seat, don't you? So obviously we know that they are creepy, but they are actually nanny chairs. And these were actually used in carousels. Isn't that awesome? And there's four of them. So you see two here and there's two more in the lobby somewhere else. Well, not in the lobby, in the resort. So if you do find them, let me know. We ended up going through the general store and look at this. They have an Abracadabra actual shirt. I'm really interested in that actually. That's pretty awesome. Plus these also nifty boardwalk shirts. They're very cool. What do you guys think about this as a new hat? A little bit big. <laughs> Ooh, I do like it a little bit. A little bit too big. But definitely keep the shade. And we are back in the room. I think that's gonna do it for us tonight. We had a lot of fun. Did the whole entire boardwalk resort, went to all the resorts. We didn't do Swan and Dolphin, but we'll probably do that eventually. But overall, I'm really loving Beach Club. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.